Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Audrey. And today I am gonna be putting up removable temporary wallpaper on these two walls behind me. I mentioned it in my one of my previous videos that this was a project I was wanting to work on. So we are finally here and it's gonna be a work in progress. So, <laughs> so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So if you saw the video that I was talking about where I mentioned this project, I did min I did say I was going to do the removable wallpaper in my kitchen, but I kind of changed my mind on that just because I like to cook. I, I cook a lot and I was worried about the steam and the heat and everything. I didn't know how well the wallpaper would stay. I'm sure it would be fine, but I just didn't want to put in all that work and it fall right off my wall. <laughs> so, so a little change of plans. So this area behind me, if you have been following my channel for any amount of time, you probably recognize it. That's where I used to film my hauls for my channel. So I've, so my husband and I were talking and I just wanted a little space, kind of a little nook that's for me. So if y'all know anything about us, you know that he also has a YouTube channel. He has a whole room of action figures. I'll put a picture up here somewhere of what his room looks like. <laughs> That's where he films his videos and he has his whole collection in the biggest bedroom because we like the smaller bedroom because it's cozy. So anyway, I was just wanting a little space to have kind of of my own. So it's right here. This is the dining area and the living room is right across from me and he's playing a video game right now. So I am going to be putting wallpaper on this back wall, this side wall, and there's a little side wall here. Those two hooks right up here, that's where I, when I steam close for my hauls, I hang them there just to keep them out of the way of our kitties. So, <laughs> so this is just gonna be a little space for me just to be, and we're eventually gonna get some, a big chair. I want a big comfy chair to go over here. I have plans for this space. So for today, we're gonna be doing the wallpaper. So I have done this wallpaper before. I'll put a picture of the work in progress from our living room before we put all of our furniture in. And I have been using this for some time. Um, when I'm filming my hauls now, the faux wood wall behind me in those, that's our bedroom, that's temporary wallpaper too. So some people didn't know what removable or temporary wallpaper was. It's kind of like contact paper. So the idea is, and this is the pattern that we're going with today. So the idea is people especially who rent or people that like to redecorate a lot, because some people do, that's their project. They like to change things out. This gives you the option to make any space feel like yours without painting or permanently changing the walls. And y'all know that we rent, we are tenants, so that's part of the rules, you can't paint. So I like to make a space my own, and this is the best way to do it. I have had stark white or beige walls for many, many years <laughs> as a tenant. So now I can make it whatever I want. So this wallpaper I got from Amazon, there will be a link below. It is an affiliate link, but you don't have to follow that. All you gotta do is look for the name of it and you can find it on your own if you don't like affiliate links, that is perfectly fine. But I typically will use the Roommates brand, but I found this pattern. I had one in mind what I was gonna get. It was by Roommates, but then I went on there and at the last minute I changed my mind and went with this one. So I'm gonna show you right here. This is part of the wall pops. These are sold on a lot of different sites, but the price for this was way better on Amazon and I got it within two days. So, you know, so now I don't measure spaces, so I can't tell you exactly the square footage and all of that. I just know from my experience, one whole, one whole roll of this will do two full stripes on my walls and I might have a little bit extra left over. So just you measure your walls, your ceilings and all that yourself. I don't, I don't do all of that. I just wing it. This is one part of my life. I just wing. For this one is the new wallpaper, Wall Pops brand. And I just think it's beautiful. So it will come 
just like wrapping paper basically. So you just take this off. So as you can see, it's just a pretty big roll of paper. There is the pattern. I think it's kind of wild, but I think it's really pretty. So it's almost like a big old sticker. So it will have a little bit of a plasticky smell, just like contact paper. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But right here, this little white paper, that you peel that off and it's, it's the sticky part. So, I will say I am not a big stickler on matching up patterns, so please do not judge me. Patterns really don't, I mean, you could go through rolls and rolls of this trying to match it up exactly. Our living room is blue with different, what do they call it? Like geometric shapes. And most of it matches up, but some of it doesn't, and that is fine with me. I don't even think about it. So if you want to match the line match each row up perfectly to the one beside it you may want to order an extra roll or two because you will be cutting off a lot of paper if you're trying to match it up perfectly i did see that in the reviews on amazon but again that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me too much but if it does you might want to take that into account so the only thing that you really need you need a step stool i have a chair I, i'm willing to risk my own safety to put this stuff up but i just have a chair a little rickety little chair get you a step ladder just for safety purposes you're going to need an exacto knife or a i got a box cutter that's really good so i use that you can even measure it out and cut it that's probably how you should do it <laughs> i'll wait till i get it up on the wall and then i can just cut it straight across so do what feels good for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start here right here in this corner and again my plan is to go here here and this wall i don't know if i'm going to have enough paper i just got to wait and see so i'm going to do this main focal wall first then this side wall and if i have plenty to go around i will do that little cut out right here so that's the plan so i'm going to put up one strip so y'all can see how it goes and then i as i do the rest of it i'll just speed that part up put y'all a little bit of music in there yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one strip up and here we go <laughs> from that installation <laughs> so our wall is a little bit crooked if y'all can see it's even at the ceiling and then we go kind of way off as you go down that is perfectly okay because when I do this wall it's gonna overlap so you always want to overlap with this so when I come in and do this second part I'm gonna bring that paper into around here so that it'll overlap about this much so that way you can, and if you want to match up the pattern, you can. Again, it doesn't really bother me that much, but I'm going to have to go in and overlap here to fill in that gap. But from here on, it's just an easy installation. I love doing this. So if y'all notice, my hands are a little bit, a little bit blue. So they do sell this little scraper that you can press it down with. So we have a few little little imperfections we're going to call it and when you run that scraper over that it can pull or rip the paper so I just use my hand so if you use your hands you can actually get in there and really press that paper to the wall you can feel it and you're not going to have any hard surfaces rubbing against places like this that will cut the paper or tear it you don't want to do that it may stain your hands just a little bit but it comes right off with no problem so the key is to adhere a small section first and then as you go down just pull that sticker paper off the back and press it as you go that's just the easiest way 
gets a little bit hairy at the bottom because all that paper starts rolling up. So I just like to add a little bit extra length, cut it off, and then press it down, and then you're done with that strip. Make sure that you clean all of your baseboards because it will not stick if you've got dust, things like that on your baseboards. So make sure those are clean. But I absolutely love this pattern. I think it's so fun and pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this whole wall and go on into the next side. And I'll be back to check in with y'all in just a second. most part so this whole wall and the back of focal wall are done I only have enough for one strip on this side so I'm gonna have to place an order for another roll so I can finish up that side but the main part I wanted to get done today is finished and I think it's beautiful so I'm gonna try to bring y'all kind of show y'all up close a few different things so let me switch my camera off and I'll be right back so I wanted to show y'all up close what I was talking about. So my kitchen's in there. So this little section right here is the part that I want to finish next. So I will include y'all in that. But there is, I'm going to try not to move too fast so y'all can see without, I know it looks like a lot y'all, trust me. <laughs> but I plan on, so let's talk about this for just a second. If y'all see down our hallway, so I have this navy blue in our hallway. There's that painting y'all might recognize. But okay, so, <laughs> well, true to my look, this navy blue to the right with the, ge the geometric print, that is on back order. And so as y'all can see right down here, I ran out. <laughs> So I ran out at the last little line. So what I did is I went ahead and folded over the extra of that floral print just so when that navy blue does come in, it should be in in the next couple of weeks, they said, I hope. Um, I'm going to be able to just put that right over that and not have a big gap between the two. So that's why I folded that over until the navy blue gets here, y'all. This has been a project so that's the navy blue that I was talking about I'm about to put some shelves over here but this is our hallway it's small but it's cute and there is the wallpaper it's busy it is busy but it's gonna be beautiful once I get finished so y'all this is it for the removable temporary wallpaper so like i said i showed y'all my hallway with the navy blue that's been up for about a month and a half i've had no problems the faux wood in the bedroom no problems at all as y'all can see i have a little bit of blue on my hands not a big deal it washes off i just like to use my hands and my fingers to just get it pressed into the wall as good as i can and I would say take your rings off. I did have to take off my wedding ring because I don't want to scratch the paper. 
it is the easiest stuff to work with. Just take your time. Don't get aggravated. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling y'all, I only get aggravated with like technology and stuff, but stuff like this, I could do all day long. It does, I just love it. To me, it's just, I don't know. I love it. So I hope that y'all like this. Like I said, I am not a professional wallpaper put upper so, <laughs> so just bear with me I know that y'all probably have a lot of tips and I, I appreciate it but just know I'm not on here pretending to be a pro at this I'm sure I missed a few things or took a few shortcuts as you will so I love it I think it's beautiful again my plan is to find a big comfy cushy chair there's a place here that sells it's called unclaimed furniture and it that's exactly what it is it's just furniture from different stores usually really good deals so we're gonna probably go by there and see about how much money we're talking about but I'm looking for just a big oversized mushy chair that's what I want and I have a little desk that I plan on painting I've had it for seven or eight years I got it off Craigslist back then and I want to paint it brown and put it Somewhere over here is my plan, and we have a bunch of shelves that I already had from Walmart. So I'm trying to just use the stuff that I already have just in a little bit different of a way. So that is all I have for y'all today. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. I hope you wasn't too bored. I hope y'all like the pattern. And this is just part one of I don't know how many parts because I want to include y'all in this little redo, and then maybe we'll do another room. Who knows? We might make this a little thing occasionally. <laughs> so, but y'all, thank you so, so much for spending your time with me. And until next time, y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon. Bye. So I was able to piece together some of the remnants of the rolls that I had, and I finished off that little corner. So I am so, so glad because that saved me another... 30 or so dollars so I didn't have to buy a whole new roll but I love it my husband is in the process of putting my shelves up and y'all I am happy as can be because it is beautiful